Hey guys, Susanville. Just gonna do a quick review on my Tilly hat. Been wearing it for about a month or so. And uh, Jim over at The Sear um, YouTube channel had asked me about it. He wears a summer hat, their summer version. And this is their uh, winter version. They're made in Canada, extremely, extremely high end. And um, there's a, a quick look at it. It's a, uh, it's their winter wool hat. It's got uh, some tuck away air warmers. It's got uh, a secret pocket up in the top. It's dry cleanable. It's coated for uh, water repellency. It's got an anti-sweat band. Um, size equalization device. It's insured for like a uh, couple of years um, if you register it. So what you've got inside right here, this is called the uh, Tilly Tether. And what that's for is as you're wearing your hat in windy conditions and it goes to get blown off, you've got this tether that holds the hat on your head so you can't lose it. Um, next, what you have here is a size equalization device that they use. If you're going to pull out the air flaps and use them, if the, if this, if the hat is sized um, a little on the snug side, what you can do is pull this felker off of here and that will allow you to get the extra room that you need for the air warmers and the forehead warmer. Um, they've really built this hat very, very well. The inside is got a uh, wind resistant polyester. It's really soft. There's also, what they don't show you, there's a hidden pocket up in this area here that uh, you can store um, the tether or if you wanted to put a survival card or something in here, you could. There's also a piece of foam rubber in here. Uh, um, it's like a foam pad. And that's going to give you some insulation. It's going to give you some uh, wind and water repellency. Um, it's also going to make the hat float if it were to fall in the water. And the pocket's kind of a neat idea to put, uh, I don't know, some a couple of flat things. I mean, you could put a credit card, cash, or a survival card. I like the hat. Um, it's uh, very comfortable. It offers lots of options. Not, it wouldn't be the first uh, hat that I wear if I was going on a mountain hike. But I'll tell you what, if you're if you're heading into into the bush and you're just gonna go uh, hiking on the flatlands or something, very warm. There's there's no doubt that it's a warm hat. If if actually if you were chopping wood in it or doing something, you probably might even break a sweat. But um, I'm very happy with the purchase. It's very warm, and all the built-in features kind of um, make it worthwhile in carrying. I mean, uh, if you're out there and you're gonna use these um, air flaps. Um, they're actually pretty functional. I was actually, uh, we were sitting outside by the fire and uh, I had the wind coming up the back of my neck and I said, you know what, let me try this. And as soon as I, uh, as soon as I pulled down the air flap, um, my neck got warm, the wind started biting on it. The forehead warmer, I haven't really, I haven't really used it yet, but I'm, I'm sure if it were uh, really cold out that um, it be it would be something that you were glad that you have it's, it does come right down to the eyebrows if you're going to be using it so keep it in mind um, I'm enjoying the hat they usually cost around a hundred dollars um, they went on sale for 54 and then in the past couple of weeks they've come down to 44 dollars over at REI which is insanely cheap and um, if anyone knows Tilly hats are extremely well constructed they're made in Canada they're made for you know colder weather so um, just a quick look at it. If you get a shot at something you're interested in, REI still has them and they're still clearance priced at them. I think it's $44. All right, guys. Peace.